kahit ma maulan, tuloy pa rin po ang volleyball action natin ngayong linggo dito sa Phil Oil Flying B Center sa lungsod ng San Juan. One match down, one more to go at ang mga volleyball idols nyo handang-handa na lumaban sa araw na ito. You can see on their screens, they're enjoying, they're having fun, and they are ready for this game. This is ABS-CBN Sports and Actions Live and exclusive coverage of the Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference. To finish off our Sunday semifinals doubleheader, we got the Paymaya High Flyers taking on the Banco for Last Spikers. Mapapanood ninyo kami sa SNA, SNA HD, Liga Liga HD at via live streaming on TFC.TV at sa number one sports website dito sa Pilipinas, ang sports.abs-cbn.com slash livestream slash PVL. Magandang hapon mga kapamilya. Ako po si Billy Capistrano at kasama ko ngayon ang napakaganda. One of DLSU Volleyball's greatest and the last time I worked with her, I was in college, Miss Anne oh, wow. Remulia Canda. Gusto mo yung, ano, yung intro yung, mo? Okay lang yung start sana, pero yung pangalawa ko. Okay. okay. Yun, <laughs> huwag na nating tandaan kung kailan yun. Yes. And joining our all-girl trio, we got the very beautiful panel at large, Miss Janine Choi. What's up, JP? Hi, Billy. Hi, Anne. Magandang hapon mga kapamilya. Yeah. Of course, beautiful kayong dalawa. And I'm very honored to be working with you guys this Sunday. At alam nyo ba, guys, na interesting matchup we have today. Of course, you got Pei Maya and Banco Perlas. Exciting talaga. Kasi alam natin, hindi naging madali yung pinagdaanan nila dito sa quarterfinals. Kaya, <laughs> umawag na sila sa semifinals. Very exciting game nga. Kaya, ang tanong ko sa inyo ay, handa na ba kayo? Of ready, 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 ready na. It's gonna be very interesting today. Well, kung handa na kayo at handa na rin ang mga nanonood, Simulan na natin ang saya. Tara, game! one of the reinforced conference here in the PVL at gaya nga ng sinabi ni Billy talagang napaka-exciting ng ating game coverage ngayong hapon dahil mayamaya ay eh magtatapat na ang Pay Maya kontra ang Banco Perla. Para sa kupuna ng Pay Maya nagtapos sila sa ating elimination round with a 5-2 record making them number 2 in the rankings kaya naman may ticket na sila kaagad dito sa ating semifinals. Iba naman ang story ng Banco Perla dahil they finished elimination round with a 4-team tie after finishing with a 3-4 record. Pero pagdating naman sa quarterfinals, ay na-sweep nila after remaining undefeated in all five of their games. That's right, JT. Ang ating dalawang kapanan, they ended the preliminary round on very different fates, very different fates itong dalawang teams natin. But, we are in the semifinals at back to zero na naman tayo. Tama, and that makes, uh, you know, um, all the remaining games very interesting dahil uh, tulad nga nang nakita natin kanina, I'm pretty sure a lot of surprises. Lahat ng uh, mga teams na to talagang may pinaghandaan. And uh, as we take a look at uh, where we are right now, ito nga, no, we saw earlier the Creamline Cool Smashers uh, go up against uh, Pukari Air Force. At uh, ito naman, our game at hand, uh, Billy, gonna be interesting. A uh, number two versus the number three team. And we're looking at the best of three um, series. Kaya magiging uh, maganda to at talagang uh, exciting. And the winners, of course, will advance to the finals while the losers will move on to the battle for third. It hasn't been an easy journey for our teams. At alam ko talaga, you know, the Paymaya High Flyers and the Perlas Spikers, they went through a lot to get to where they are now. Tama ka dyan, Billy. Truly, it wasn't a walk in the park for both Pay Maya and Banco Perlas. Kaya naman mga kapamilya, alamin natin kung ano ba ang kinailangan nilang pagdaanan para umabot dito sa semifinals. So much power on that one from Jeremy Malabanan. Mapalik dito kay Sullivan this time. Yeah, the ball. Round three, oh, powerful hit. 
It was a challenging new season para sa Paymaya High Flyers. Roundtree again! The explosive there by Tess Roundtree. The elimination round uh, was really fun because it was really fast and we got a little uh, chance to look at every single team and how they played and just, you know, we learned to play well as a team together. This is my first time in Asia and being in the Philippines and getting to participate in the volleyball league here has been such an incredible experience. Bonabonin again. Sullivan puts it down. We were finding our identity as a team and really um, working together in those first few weeks to grow as a team and get better every day. But eventually, the High Flyers got their rhythm and closed the elimination round with a 4-2 win-loss card, earning them the second seat in the semifinals. We were obviously happy that we got our first goal and, and then we set our next goal of going to the finals. Four touches call there, so Tones goes cross court. Uh, it was an incredible feeling um, just knowing and having that confidence that we were going to keep playing and be in the final four. It was really, really exciting and fun. Round three, it's out! Oh. So having the break between the elimination round and the um, playoffs, I think it had some benefits and some challenges. The benefits being we could really focus and practice. It was challenging, however, because it's a long time to go without competitions. It's like we're waiting around. The Banco Perla Spikers also had a shaky performance during the preliminary round. Each game, we progress in some kind of way. Um, and again, like stepping on the court, you just never really know what you're going to get. Again, with each team coming out there wanting that win, I feel like we just continue to stay grounded and stay together. And we dig ourselves out of holes when we do. Ferrer. Oh, wow! <laughs> Determined to enter the Final Four this year, the Perla Spikers found their momentum and maintained an unscathed 5-0 record in the quarterfinals to extend their winning streak to seven. Sinet namin yung mindset namin na kailangan namin na isang panalo. And then, kailangan namin ituloy-tuloy yung momentum na to para tulungan din yung sarili namin na manalo nang tuloy-tuloy makapasok sa sense. We have some uh, mistake, not good, but my team, I think now is better. We have felt um, being down by many points in games and having to claw our way through. And I feel like that will make us better um, moving forward because we have been in those situations prior. So we know what it feels like to play from behind. We know what it feels like to have to grind and fight through because not, none of those games were just handed to us. During the elimination, my game was like up and down. So going into the uh, semis, I'm hoping to be more consistent for each game. Every day, kailangan namin maging better talaga. Lalo na kapag papalapit na nga kami dun sa goal talaga namin. So I'm excited to see what the semis brings. And I know um, each team is very good and wants it. And so it'll be a tough fight, but we're ready for the competition. If we won, we can win. I want to get the champion. So this year, I'm really excited to play with them and fight for that first place and just really play our best and play high-level volleyball. And you can definitely expect me to go out there and just give it my all um, and just lay it out there on the floor. That's all I honestly can do. It's the Paymaya High Flyers versus the Banco Perla Spikers. Para sa best of three semifinal series ng 2018 PVL Reinforced Conference. Tara! Game! 
You know, Anne and Billy, seeing that BTR feature just made this game all the more exciting. Shempre, new lineup for both teams, and they had to find the rhythm to play well with their imports also. So, ang dami talagang factors that they had to consider to reach here in the semifinals. Tama ka dyan, kaya excited na tayo para not only for this game, but for the whole semifinals series as well. Ang sabi nga nila, diba, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. And talagang pinatunayan yun ng both Pay Maya and ng Banco Perla. Kaya naman mga kapamilya, kung meron kayong mga comments at suggestions, i-tweet nyo lang kami at ABS-CBN Sports and also use the hashtag PVL on ABS-CBN. Also, please check out our Instagram account for exclusive photos at ABS-CBN underscore sports. Make sure you keep up to date on all things about the Premier Volleyball League by visiting the number one Philippine sports website, sports.abs-cbn.com. Tapos i-like, share, and follow nyo na rin ang aming official Facebook page, which is now close to 1 million followers at Premier Volleyball League. Alright, thank you for that, Janine. At syempre, huwag niyong kalimutan na meron tayong special feature at yan, ang Star Cam, because we love our fans. We want you, you know, if you want a very special player na gusto niyong tutukan the whole game or the whole set, i-tweet niyo lang ang pangalan niya and hashtag Star Cam, hashtag TVL on ABS-CBN at ABS-CBN Sport. At yan na nga, si Amy Ahomira, a fan favorite. You can see her there on our Star Cam right now. And of course, we got our photo booth. Let's not forget our photo booth. Ayan nga yung mga fans natin nag enjoy with the Pay Maya High Flyers. All smiles ready for this game. And of course, mga kapamilya, alam ko na si Janine very busy pa siya sa laro na ito. Dahil madami pa siyang gagawin, but we will see her later during this game. Pero kaming dalawa ni Andy, ito lang kami. Dahil sa aming pagwalik, pag-uusapan pa namin ang dalawang kumpanan na maglalaban sa araw na ito. Ito po ang Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference on SNA. We're back and you're still watching the Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference on SNA. And you can see both our squads shaking hands, trying to be friendly before the game. All about camaraderie here in the PVL. And of course, kasama niyo pa rin ako, Bailey Capistrano, with Anne Ramuda Kanda. And we got a very special guest for all of you. Everybody, let's welcome Chami Nicole Chamson from the Perlas Spikers. How are you, Chami? I'm fine. <laughs> game na. <laughs> Excited na? Yes, yes. And so our first question for you today. First of all, congrats on your win. Thank and you, thank you. And the quarterfinals round. Now, alam ko, you ended the, elimina the elimination round with a subpar 3-4 win-loss yes. record. Pero pagdating nyo naman sa quarterfinals, grabe yung iba ng ihip ng hangin. Mm -hmm. You guys totally dominated that round. Now, ano yung difference from the first round till now? Siguro yung pag-gel ng team pa rin eh. Kasi yung first round, kailangan na namin mag-move on dun sa loss namin. Kailangan namin mag-build na momentum going to the quarterfinals. And for me, teamwork and communication talaga yung nag-work for Banco Perla Spikers right now. And given that, you also defeated uh, Pay Maya High Flyers at uh, in the preliminary round. Ano yes. yung mga sa tingin mo? You mentioned the, a couple of points already kung ano yung nag-work sa inyo. Pero ano sa tingin mo yung kailangan pang ulitin, focusan sa game na to, to be able to get the win again? Kailangan namin ng hard service para hindi sila makapag-set up sa amin. And kailangan din namin uh, makapuntos agad kapag mayroong free ball sa amin. Kung baga parang yung counter-attack namin para makapoint. Alright, thank you so much, Chami. We won't keep you here for long dahil alam ko kailangan mo na mag-warm up. Oh. But thank you so much for your time and good luck sa game nyo mamaya. We hope that grit and determination na pinakita nyo sa quarterfinals ay ipakita nyo rin dito sa semifinals. Now, let's talk about more about Chami. Chamson to a T. Grabe, alam mo, an yung pinakita niya against the Angels. I covered that game actually with Phil and she has been so consistent the whole quarterfinals round. And this is what we're looking for. No? Frequently, we would talk about uh, the performance of the reinforcements but it's also very important for the locals to really step up and that's exactly what uh, Nicole has uh, done for her squad so that consistency is something that they need yan ang aabangan natin pa rin sa laban na ito and speaking of that game against the Angels I did say that I covered that game at grabe yung momentum that the Bank, the Bank of Perla Spikers they kept all throughout that game and you know what unlucky number ng Angels ang 19 dahil hindi na sila lumagpas ng 90 point but this is a good shot a lot of learning of course for a Petrogas but on the other side for Bank of Perla this is a very good showing because it 
just uh, you know gives us a preview of how consistent this team can be. Talagang kalkulado nila kung ano yung mga gusto nilang gawin. And uh, it, miranggit nga ni Nicole kanina, no? it's really teamwork that is working for her squad. And the numbers really prove that. There you can see the stats during that game. You can see that yun nga, itong Banco Perlas at Petrogas, they limited the Angels 19 points in all sets. Can you believe that? Hindi na sila magpa sa 20s. Parang ano to eh, parang pre-nactis ba nila na stop at 19 ang score ng kalaban nila. But again, that's consistency for, for all the fans and I'm sure they're, the team is also loving how they uh, performed in that match. Well, we can't wait for what the Banco Perlas Spikers have in store for us in today's game. At pagpabalik namin, we are going to talk about the other team naman, ang Paymay High Flyers. Ito po ang Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference on SNA. Back here in the Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference on SNA. And kasama naman namin ni Anne from the other team, the Lady Bees. We got Gretchel Sultanas in the house. Hi! Kamusta ka naman, Gretchel? Parang well-rested ka. Oh, 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 fresh, yeah. fresh na fresh ka today. <laughs> So simple question lang naman, how was your break? I know you had more than three weeks yes. you know, to rest, to practice, to bond with your teammates. Ano naman yung mga ginawa? Actually, uh, games lang. I mean, chin-up games. Kasi kailangan namin yun eh. Kasi mahirap yung talagang sobrang haba ng pahinga. And we're supposed to like go out as a team. Pero kaso umuulan. So talaga training lang. Puro training uh -huh. lang. But I think... One of the things also that we'd like to know, because in the preliminaries, natalo kayo sa Banco Perla. So, this time around, nabanggit mo yung mga training sa scrimmage, hindi kayo nakalabas. Ano yung uh, mga kailangan ninyong gawin sa larong ito? To Actually, uh, yung confidence namin sa bawat isa, kailangan namin i-compose yourself namin during sa mga sobrang thrill na points. And then, yung receive talaga. Yung, yung pinaktis namin. Alright, thank you so much, Gretch. Ikaw naman yung mag-warm up kanina, sabi namin kay Chami. We don't wanna keep her here kasi okay, mag-warm up ka na. Mag-relax ka na muna before the game. And of course, good luck in your game later. You. And it's nice to have you guys back on the court once again. Thank you so much, Gretchel Sultanes of the Paymaya High Flyers. Now, speaking of Gretchel Ann, you know, she has called the Lady Bees, yun yung moniker niya. Pero during the preliminary round, parang she was a bit quiet. You know, she didn't make that much noise and only had 37 points that whole round. Now, if you really, um, siguro kung sinusubaybayan mo itong lead na to, of course, you expect high numbers from Gretchel. A lot of people uh, expect her to score more, to tally more points. But I think if you are to look at it in a different uh, perspective, maaring this is a good thing also for the team because it goes to show how balanced their scoring is now. It means that uh, probably uh, more people in the team in every rotation meron ng pumupuntos. But then again, um, you know, in every game, ang kailangan talaga mag-deliver ng punto. So, sa five times in a match, I'm sure aasahan natin dyan si Lady Beast. And of course, you know, Gretchel as a strong leader on the court, always cheering her teammates. Kaya naman, yan yung aabangan natin kay Gretchel Sotonis, especially in this crucial game. Ngayon, mga kapamilya, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, we want to hear your thoughts. We want you to keep us company in this game. Just tweet us at ABS-CBN Sports. Gamit ang hashtag Tag na PVL on ABS CB. And of course, we got our photos and exclusive videos on our Instagram account that is at ABS CBN Sports. At wag kalimutan ang aming Facebook. Hindi ko alam talaga kung 1 million likes na. Pero sana i like at i follow nyo ang aming Facebook account that is at Premier Volleyball League. At para naman maging updated on all things Premier Volleyball League, just head on over to our website that is sports.abs cbn.com. And let's not forget. The music that we have today, care of DJ Louie. Ayan, sumasayo-sayo siya. Siguro mamaya makikita niyo kami ni Anne. Sasayo na rin kami sa sidelines dahil magiging exciting nga ang labanan natin. Kaya sa aming pagbabalik, you know, let's get this show on the road. We are locked, loaded, and ready to go. As sa aming pagbabalik, it is the match of semifinals game one between the Paymaya High Flyers at ng Banco Perlas Spikers. Ito po ang Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference on SNA. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Rene Gaspillo. Second referee, Mr. Bob Malena. Presenting our starters for our Paymaya High Flyers. 
Team Captain is number four, Jasmine Nabor. At number one, foreign guest player from the USA, Tess Roundtree. Number two is foreign guest player from the USA, Shelby Sullivan. Number five, Gretel Sultanes. Number 13, Celine Domingo. At number 15, Jeremy Malaban. Libero, number six, Lizzie and Pantone. Head coach, Mr. Roger Goraev. Calling on our Banco, Perla Spikers. Foreign guest player from Thailand, Jutra Montrepila. Number 11, Mary Joy Dacron. Number 12, Jamenea Ferrer. Number 15, foreign guest player from the USA, Lakia Bright. Number 16, Rongo My Papa, Amy Aomiro. And number 19, Nicole Ann Tianzong. Libero, number seven, Maria Giselle Jessica Tan. Head coach, Mr. Ariel Don de la Cruz. This is game one of the semifinals, a best of three seeds. Where the winner of two matches. There, there we go, we got the starters for the Banco for Last Spikers and Pay My High Flyers. For the Banco for Last, we got Montrepida, Ahomiro, Bright. Chance on Dakaron Ferrer and their libero Giselle Tan. Having some pay Maya high flyers. And then we got Sullivan, Soltones, Nabor, Ordas, Roundtree, Domingo, and their libero Eroa. Semi finals game one. Oh, we haven't even started. I can't even hear you with all the cheering from the crowd. We got an exciting matchup ahead. Of course, we have to remember that itong pay Maya high flyers and they got a long break. More than three weeks, and if you watch the first game, Greenline against Bokhari Air Force, three set win ang Bokhari Air Force, and that may be because na ang tagal nang hindi naglalaro ng Greenline. So you think this will happen in this game? What are your initial thoughts? Well, I think for one, you know, like uh, what we saw in the earlier game, iba yung uh, napahinga ka. Even if you train continuously day after day, iba yung uh, actual game. So I think for the teams who continue to play on, that's an advantage. Plus the momentum and the confidence that they build, um, you know, from winning games, uh, iba yun eh. But uh, let's see if uh, in terms of movement, masasabayan ng uh, Pay Maya agad-agad ang Banco for Last. So speaking of Pay Maya, ito na nga sila. They got point number oh, one, pero biglang bawi naman si U. So tarat mo, Trepila, Banco for Last, Spikers. I think one of the things uh, we need to watch out for for Pay Maya, no, the speed, how how fast their pace will be. Kung masasapayan pa nila itong uh, Banco Perlas, who's been on a very, very good momentum, having uh, been undefeated in the last five games. So we will see kung matatapatan yan itong Pay Maya. But so far, so good for both teams. You can feel their energy even from when, where we're sitting. And that will be outside for Gretchen Sultan as we were just with her a while ago. Coach Roger as early as now, nakatayuna sa sideline. No? Very active in giving reminders to the girls. And a service ace for Kia Bright, our star import from Banco Perlas. Has been so consistent. This whole reinforced conference. Well, I think it's Salaga. Bright. Serving it up for the girls in black. Jasmine Labor. Jeremy Malabangan. That is a point for a rising star from FPU. Uh, earlier, we uh, heard her say how she wants to be more consistent and really wants to step up. And, uh, you know, they, they uh, needed that point. They need to bring the momentum right away from uh, back of her last. This team is hot, all fired up. Speaking of fired up, we can see the gold champs on Jamie. Excited, excited. Rin para sa laban na ito. She's been also been so consistent for the Perla Spikers. Actually, this whole team, I was talking about it a few games back. The chemistry that they have off the court. They need to be on the court. In the Aumiro. A service error that she doesn't do quite often. Uh, I think that time around she was aiming for a short serve. But the uh, left power. Shelby Sullivan. 
foreign guest players. Anko Perlas, one point lead, 4-3 is our score. Jeff Ferrer, Benitez, Joy Caporon, and a point here for Haymaya Highflyers. On Jibvila actually appealing to the referee, saying it was saved. And we can see in the replay. Priya Bright, Jeff Ferrer, Pupunta kay Umon Trevila, favorite spot, no go. Jasmine aboard, back set. We go back to Kia Bright, that is a soft touch. And we got a rally going on here, early parts of our first set. Great blocking by Paymaya. Here comes Chami and the Onsi Sullivan. Jasmine aboard once again, back to Gretchen Sultanes, and that is overcooked for. The Lady Bees, Gretchel Sultanis. Still no luck for uh, Gretchel at this point. And this may be the rust that you were talking about earlier. No matter how uh, much you train, how much you uh, do tune up games, iba pa rin yung uh, actual na nilalaro. Siyempre, nandun na rin yung adrenaline na sumasama kapag naglalaro. And just like that, hey, my High Flyers, they tie this game 5 all. Cherry Lee Malabana will be serving it up for Paymaya. Cherry Lee Malabana serving for the High Flyers. Kia Bright. Abo ni Chami. Balik kay Kia Bright. Multiple players of the High Flyers saving that one. And we will go first to Janine Choi for her first. What's up, Janine? Billion Ann, ang 24-year-old import ng Paymaya na si Shelby Sullivan ay lumaki at pinanganak pala sa Dallas, Texas. Sinumulan niya ang kanyang professional career sa Switzerland kung saan doon siya naglaro for three months. At sinabi niya talagang ibang-iba ang style of play sa Europa at dito sa Pilipinas. Dahil dito sa Pilipinas, mas focus nila sa depensa at talagang kailangan maging mas matalino kang manlalaro para makakuha ka ng punto. Dagdag pa ni Shell, dito fans here are incredible and are the best fans in the world. Tungtuwa siya dahil grabe ang pagtangkilik sa volleyball dito sa Pilipinas at talagang ramdam mo daw ang pagmamahal at suporta ng mga fans. Balik sa inyo, Billy at Anne. Thank you for that great report, Janine. At tama naman talaga si Shelby Sullivan when she said that the fans here are the best in the world. Kasi kung makikita niya yung Phil Oil Flying Bee Center ngayon, punong-puno ng tao. Everyone supporting their favorite players and their favorite teams. If not the uh, light here at the arena and damage on the no no odin Of course, that's Sunday family day enjoying this game with their families in a service error for Paymaya. We will go to our first technical timeout. Magbabalik po ang PBL on SNA. Kami po ay nagbabalik dito sa PBL. We got Banco for last. Spikers, they defeated the Paymaya High Flyers. That was during the preliminary round, May 26, 2018. It was actually a strong start for the Paymaya High Flyers where they got the first two sets, Billy. Kaya lang, kinulang ang ganda ng comeback ng uh, Banco per last um, in that match. At yun nga, no? tulad ng sinabi natin, nakuha nila ang uh, panalo in that game. Looking at the score, ito yung magandang comeback. Coming from an 18-18 set one and set two um, score, na bawi nila ito um, set three onwards. And you know what? And it's actually very interesting to note. Na itong Banco Perlas, although they did have a three-four win loss card during the preliminary round, they beat the number one, the number two, and the eighth team. So there were signs of promise na inilabas nila noong quarterfinals. And I think for this team, ano, yun yung pinamuhugutan nila nung confidence. So yun, doon nila nakuha yun, where they got it. And even if their standing is, is like that, alam nilang uh, they have it in them. And that's why Tiam, Nicole Tiamson earlier said, what really worked for them was teamwork. So when they got that, they, para silang uh, talagang whenever they go to a game, a well-oiled uh, machine itong uh, Banco Perlas. And it's very obvious in how they're playing here in this game. Banco now at 9. Itong play may unti-unti namang humahabol at 7. But still lots of volleyball to play. We got Celine Domingo rather serving for Pay Maya. Then Ferrer, Pili and Simon Trepila down the line for our tie import. Then Serving seven. Being a very aggressive 
Bango for last uh, team here. And you see Jen Ferrer also try to vary her sims. So, pinapagalaw niya, pinapag-isip niya rin ng uh, blockers at ang defensa ng uh, Paymaya. Nakahabong, it'd be a bright. And here comes Zubarat once again. Defense is good for Paymaya. Back to Kia Bright. And that right. will be Elevates off the block. We got Kia Bright shining as always here in the reinforced conference. And look at her aim for the hand of the blocker. We always say that tinitempla talaga ni Kia yung mga palo niya. I think, you know, it, uh, it looks so easy if she does it because ang taas ng, uh, ng talo niya and her hand time andun din. Suspended talaga in the air. Yeah, so she has uh, a lot of time. Pwede pa tayo magkape. Tapas muna tayo. Hindi pa rin siya naglaland. There you go, Kia Bright. Very consistent performer here in the reinforced conference. Nice catch for the Perla Spikers to acquire her talent. Here comes Montrepila once again. That's round three. Sasagot. And that is good for Tess round three. Paymaya now at 11. Banco at Sorry, Paymaya at 9 and Banco still leading at 11. So that, uh, Ferrer was actually there, but the, the hit was just too Service. strong. Jasmine Abor serving. Montrepila Ferrer back to Kia Bright. Medyo mataas yung palo that Ten. time. One of the few times we'd uh, see her commit an error, she was underneath the ball. But knowing Kia Bright, gagantihan ulit. Service. She'll make up for that mistake while Jasmine Labor continues to serve for Faye Maya. Let's see. Kia Bright. No go. Jasmine Labor backs it to Jerry Malabanan. Blocked Malabana. by Jotarat Montrepil and Amy Ahumiro. 12, serving 10. Ito, Montrepil. Read that play fully mm -hmm. Excellent timing. Here, Bright. Gretchel Soltones. Someone there for Banco Perlas. And here comes Montepila. Montepila. <laughs> <laughs> Montepila. With that fist pump. And I, you know, I really love the energy that I'm seeing from her every time she gets a point, she really celebrates it. And you know, kailangan na to uh, nakakahawin, especially for the rest of the team. Remember to pump up your teammates. Gretchel Soltones. Nandun si Giselle Tan. Here comes Kia Bright once again. And looking na hira. And there's a point for Kia Bright. There was a touch. Timeout. High Flyers. High Flyers, they call for a timeout. That's here. What Coach Roger has to say. defense the defense at the back take care many balls are dropping we are try, just attempt to get the ball kunya pagbayaan kasi here the targeting is down the line down the line there you have it, Coach Roger Gurayev. Siya sabi sa kanyang team na i-close nyo yung down the line that yun nga yung na target ng Banco for last. For coaches, of course, first line of defense is very important. Um, so blocking is something that should work for them. Take a look at the adjustments that this team will make. Jerry Malabangan. Jasmine aboard. Back to Jerry. Blocked for the second time. And she'll try a third time. Soft touch. Jotarat Montrepilia. Jotarat wants to win this game. And that is so obvious. Yung momentum sa quarterfinals round. Dina na niya dito sa semifinals. Ay, nagmamadali ata oh. siyang umuwi. I mean, you know, talagang ito, ginagawa ng tao. Ginagawa ng paraan lahat ng gora. And that's something that uh, is really working to their advantage here in the first set. And I think for Banco Perlas, they really want to dictate the pace. Ayaw nilang sila yung magahabol dito sa laro nito. That's very obvious with the way things are going. Another point for Banco Perlas care of U Montepila. As we go to our second technical timeout, we will be on PBL on S and A. Back here.
year in the Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference. Let's take a look at the offensive stats for both our teams. Here's a comparison of the stats following the quarterfinals. It's actually uh, quite close, I know, when we look at it uh, in terms of offense, blocking. Ang uh, nalayo lang with the aces were bank of, uh, uh, rather, the high flyers actually um, at, at the higher ranking. So, hindi naman pasyadong malayo kung stats yung titignan. But in terms of ranking, ang uh, Paymaya high flyers, lahat sila number four. So, medyo in the middle where Banco Perlas would land at least at the top three spots. There we go, both teams. Very talented. They and both the deserve to be here in the semi-finals. Ito, ito na yung point na here at the tail end of the competition. And back to zero nga nasabi natin kanina. So, clean slate para sa kanilang dalawa. And uh, of course, all of the games matter. Hindi natin sinasabing some of the yes. games are, uh, you know, uh, less some important than the others. But this time around, talagang lahat ng panalo, lahat ng uh, pwedeng maunahan, yan ang kailangan trabahuhin ng mga teams natin. So we got a very interesting series. Not just this matchup, but syempre yung cream line at yung Pocari Air Force rin. Amy Ahokino saw that opening. No effort for her. Well, they did their homework, definitely uh, studied kung uh, ano ba yung uh, butas ng kanilang uh, kalaban. But I guess also, no, Banco Perlas drew some uh, confidence as well with uh, what they saw previously. Dahil yun nga, no, we, they're going up against um, a team who's high, um, higher in terms of ranking. Pero nakikita naman natin yun sa movement nila. Very smooth. Uh, everything is well calculated. The body language says it all for Banco Perlas. Now we're at 12 and 17 with Banco Perlas still in the lead. That is a five point lead for the girls in black. Nicole Changzon puts it in. And that will be a point for Banco on a roll here in set number one. Banco scores 18 to 12. Five point lead, we got some substitutions. substitutions. Sue Rosses, Ben Emnas coming in for Jen Ferrer Rosses, and Jotarat Montrepina. Ten, Magpapa hinga muna sila. Emnas in. Some adjustments being made by Coach Dong for his team. Ben Emnas serving for the Perlas Spikers. Ben Emnas on fresh legs on the court serving for Perlas. Ayuna, Domingo blocked. Round three, Chamzon was there. And a violation point for Banco Perlas once again. So these errors uh, definitely not welcome at this point in time. And like the work in timeout, see Coach Roger Gorayab. Okay. And there you go, Coach Roger Gorayev telling his girls, na relax lang, focus lang tayo. And you can see that there are a bunch of scrappy plays here for the Bay Maya High Flyers. Siguro nga yun yung dahil yung nakalaro for a long time to keep repeating that. But it really does matter, especially at this point in the competition. Definitely, but of course, Coach Roger siguro inaasakan din niya. After that timeout, magigising itong kanyang uh, girls. They could shape things up, and they do. Oh. Test round three coming alive here. In the middle 13, of our set 19. number one, 19-13 is our score. Banco Perlas still in the lead. Jeremy Malabana, serving for Bay Maya. Here comes Jeremy Malabana serving. Yeah, bright. Then Emnas will go to Chami. Chami, saw that opening. 20. Pagit na pa ng mga blockers. Smart play by Nicole Chamzon. Easily one of the rising stars here for for last fighters Ken Emnas, Giselle Tan, Topia Bright, Gacha Soltones back to test round three no one home for the for last fighters came I a 14 Banco at 20 
country looking for those uh, unmanned spots. And ang importante ngayon, they need uh, six points at least tie it with uh, Banco Perlas. Ella de Jesus, Ben and Nas, the Kia Bright. That is outside. Nakakahabol na itong Paymaya High Flyers with some errors from the Banco Perlas Spikers. I think for Banco Perlas, you cannot uh, relax, you know? I mean, uh, that is not yet over. From Stess Roundtree, Ella de Jesus, Ben and Nas, Kia Bright once again. This time, she made sure that it would go in. Oh. The only question I had in my mind was, how? How can you actually <laughs> keep that ball alive? There she goes. Ayuna, Gretchen Sotones answers back. Amaya not giving up. Well, tama naman yung uh, target ni uh, Gretchen. Ano? She, it, it, it's actually the same target for uh, Banco Perlas. Kinukuha ng Banco Perlas yung mga down the line nila, whether uh, opposite hitter or outside hitter. Ganun din ang ginawa ni Gretchen. And that is a service ace here for Celine Domingo for the Primaya High Flyers. A first for her in this game. Inching closer to the 21-point mark by Banco Perlas. Iniisa-isa nila yung mga puntos. Woo! Baliktad naman ng hiyari. Nabati natin ang uh, service ace na itong si Celine Domingo. That always happens. Yes, that always happens. No fail. And substitutions once again. Balik sa bench. Si Sue Ross is in Fed M. Nas. Jem Ferrer and Montrepila will play again. Here comes Jem Ferrer, veteran setter, serving. Rachel Soltones. The her. Blocking is great the here for Chotarat Montrepila. Amy Ahomiro providing support as well. I think what's uh, making things a little bit difficult for uh, Faye Maya, yung kanilang first ball, ano, yung reception nila, hindi exacto sa setter. So they're missing out on a lot of uh, plays. Definitely some adjustments Someone need to be made. 23-18 itong Banco per last two points away from getting set number one. We will see what Paymaya has up their sleeves para mahabon itong Banco per last. Lots of volleyball to play. Jel Cayuna serving. Oh, fortunately, that crucial error. It puts Banco per last at set point. Yun yung sayang. Ano? You're at the service line. You're in full yeah, control. Right. And uh, yet... Turns out to be an error. The Bright. Kayuna. Ili and si Gretchel Soltones. Naibawi naman ni Gretchel. Siguro na panood ni Gretchel yung pregame natin. Sabi niya, I'm here, I'm back. Pinaka-quiet. Oh. At hindi pa tapos itong set na to. And she keeps them alive here in set number one. Siyempre, oh, Montrepila. And just like that, walang nagawa si Tatang sa lakas ng palo ni Jutarat Montrepila for the Spikers. And they get set number one from the Paymaya High Flyers. But definitely, this team is looking very confident and also in full control. They definitely know what they're doing. So we will see kung makukuha nga ng Perla Spikers ang second set or mababawi ng Kay Maya ang kanilang set number one. Magbabalik po ang Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference on SLA.